In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Rolling Credits. Rolling Credits is a collection of 12 generators that you can use to create long lists of movie credits in Final Cut Pro 10. You can find the complete collection in your generator's browser under the Sugar FX Rolling Credits category. Or, if you prefer, you can go to the Theme browser and select the Rolling Credits theme. In order to use Rolling Credits successfully, you need to prepare your text ahead of time by following a few protocols when typing your text. You can use any word processing application such as TextEdit. First, you need to type the protocol of the title. Type the letters TTL, all in uppercase, and enclose them in square brackets. You can type the title if you have one, or just leave this blank, but the title protocol must be there. The second protocol that you need to know is that every time you press enter, you will be telling Rolling Credits that there is a new line of text. So go ahead and press enter to type your first line of text, and continue doing the same for the rest of the credits. The last protocol that you need to know about refers to the separation between each line of credit. You don't have to use this protocol if you just want one column text in your credits. But one perfect example to enable this option is when you want to separate the name in two columns of text and be able to control the appearance of each column using the text adjustment parameters. In this tutorial, I'm going to use my own protocol by typing two asterisks between the two items that I want separated. When finished, save the text document to your hard drive. Back in Final Cut Pro 10, I'm going to choose the rolling credit style that I want. I think I'm going to use the rolling credits number 5. This one doesn't have the two columns enabled, but I know I can enable that feature in the parameters. The first thing I need to do is select the clip in the timeline so the on-screen controls are available, and then press the command and option key combination in my keyboard to enable the button to import the text I have prepared. Select the file, and now I can see all my information in this layout. I could change the font if I wanted, but I like it the way it is. The text is not processed correctly at this moment, because I need to go to the inspector window and use the pull down menu to select the item separator option of user defined, because I need to enter the two asterisks that I used in my text to separate the two items in each line. Now I can go ahead and click on the two columns button to enable the item separation, and then tweak the parameters to adjust the space relationship between the two columns. I can also do several text adjustments in the text adjust section below, and I think I will make the left column to be in capital letters, and the column on the right capitalized. So I'm going to select the fourth option in this menu. Also, I'd like to increase the size bias to the right column to enhance the name and adjust the size of the credits accordingly. Now that I see how the text looks on the screen, I may need to increase the spacing between the lines just a bit to give it a little more room to breathe. I like the overall look of my credits. Now, let's play back to see if the speed is going at a comfortable rate. It is going too fast for my taste, so I'm going to increase the length of the rolling credits in the timeline. Or, I could just press the Control D keyboard combination, so I can type, let's say, 30 seconds for the new duration. I think I like this speed much better. Finally, I want to make sure that the start and the end point of the credits are using the entire length of the generator. And if necessary, I can modify the starting and ending point easily by moving the playhead to the beginning and to the end of the element in the timeline and make the adjustments with the start and the end parameters. I am really happy with the results and the speed is just perfect. As you can see, there are many options when using rolling credits and some of the other elements have additional features and controls for rotation or undulation. My suggestion to you is to give them a try and see how powerful rolling credits can be, and at the same time, have fun while creating movie credits. Rolling Credits is powered by FX Factory, so if you are trying out these generators and would like to get a licensed copy to remove the watermark, just click on the button at the bottom of the preview window to access the online store, or to enter the registration code. For more plugins, transitions, or effects from SugarFX, please visit our website at sugarfx.tv.